what's up guys welcome back to another video here specifically today i'm in dubai but i will be heading over to karachi in pakistan which is obviously obvious should i say by the title of the video um i'm literally in the taxi now with our brother muhammad he's taken us to the airport and the from where i live to the airport is roughly about 10 minutes so it's not too far away and the journey to get from dubai to pakistan is also really close about two hours just under two hours so it's not too bad and i'm super super excited to finally get to see pakistan it's a trip that i've been waiting to go to for a long time now so glad it's finally happening you know and the first stop is going to be karachi and i can't wait to explore what that city has to offer from the food the culture the people and so much more and with regards to the visa process, for anybody that's probably wondering how to kind of get over to Pakistan, it's actually not as simple as you'd think. You actually have to apply for a visa online and it takes roughly about a week or two weeks depending on, everyone's gonna be different, but I would definitely give yourself at least two weeks. For me, it took roughly five, I think about six, six seven days or so. And the visa cost to get to Pakistan is about 60 US dollars. made it to the airport all right guys we've just made it to the airport from the taxi that took actually faster than i thought i'm just going to head in now my airline is with emirates so hopefully they've got the fast check-in because usually they do they have the self check-ins nowadays so it takes at least half of the time off but let's see if karachi also has the self check-in let's go all right uh, which way for Karachi? Karachi, okay. Self-serve chicken. Self-service, yeah? yeah it's oh. yeah. It's um, fair. Awesome, thank you. All right, there you heard it, guys. So they've got self-service chicken, which is super, super quick. I'll show you guys how it works. Honestly, it's like absolute game changer. You can get to the airport, like almost, probably wouldn't recommend getting to the airport too late. Always give it two hours. But with this, I've previously come to the airport, like literally just an hour before, especially for international flights. And it's managed to cut a lot of time. All right, here it is, the self-checking desk. Let's go. Passport. Go, 26 kg, put your bag on there. And just like that, guys, I am officially checked in. The future. And just like that guys we are checked in that took me literally five minutes super efficient so just gonna go through the security now all right guys we just successfully made it through to security I think that whole process there probably took me no longer than got here about yeah about 30 minutes or so super efficient this one thing I love about traveling from Dubai nowadays is everything is just so digital just so quick and this actually the airport is really empty i've never seen dubai airport look this empty usually this place is rammed guys honestly i'm just so excited to go to uh, pakistan it's been such a long time uh, i've been waiting for such a long time literally and i've been preparing for the trip because it's a long long trip i'm going to be going to a lot of major cities going to check out some amazing landscapes over down north in um, Pakistan so 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 excited to go there guys some cash change up before I go something I always do at the airport just in case when I do get there that I have issues changing up cash or let's say the ATM machines don't work so, alright guys so I managed to change up about 255 dirhams which is approximately 51 pounds or maybe 60 US dollars and with that I've got about 10,500 uh, Pakistani rupees first time seeing the old rupees I'm sure we're gonna see more of that on this trip looking forward to it interesting very nice very cool I think I found my spot and I'm probably gonna head into giraffe because the seating area looks really nice which means I can plot here nicely for the next few hours can I please get a katsu chicken noodles and can I get a cap katsu, katsu noodles? yes please and can I get a uh, cappuccino with that. Cappuccino, yeah? yeah. Yum. Cappuccino. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Alright guys, this coffee approximately cost around 25 dirhams, which is about $6. And the juice was about the same price as well. So 
not that cheap, typical Dubai prices. Nothing is ever cheap in this place. So looking forward to heading over to Pakistan, which I know the prices are definitely going to be much more affordable. Guys, that's the food done and a good three hours of just chilling. Well, not chilling, doing a bit of work on the laptop and just heading over to the gate now. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Thank you. Guys, Swift check in there. He was just checking that the Pakistan visa that I've got is all good. All right, guys, we've got a bit of a about half an hour wait before we board onto the plane. And there's a few more people here than I thought initially when I thought there was nobody here, but quite a few people here actually. Time to board. Thank you, sir. Getting ready to just get on the plane with all the crew here. It was definitely more busy than I thought, to be honest. Because when I initially got here, it was like empty. And now we've got, looks like, potentially a full aircraft. For me, sir, uh, see on the other side. Oh. If you want, you can cross yeah, here. Yeah, let's, okay? let's do it. It's a half seat. All right, guys, we just finally made it to our seat, 14 C, and it was a bit of a hustle and bustle to get on here first because initially I was on the wrong side. I was on that side over there, but now the kind lady told me that I'm in the right seat. So just waiting to lift off, or should I say take off? video where I'm speaking over at Bourbon and the uh, pilot said it's only going to take about one hour and 30 minutes to arrive to Karachi so much faster than anticipated. Let's try a little bit of the Pakistani food on the plate. Just give it the taste test, see what it tastes like. I'm going for the rice first and the chicken. Finally made it. We have officially made it to Karachi, Pakistan, guys. It's got a nice, fresh, cold air to it. I've got my shoelaces undone. <laughs> so excited I am to be here. All right, guys, we have just made it through past the security, and now I'm literally just waiting to get my bag. And that was a super swift, swift entry. All right, guys, we have officially made it into Karachi and i'm waiting for my driver and there he is the main guy all right guys he's waiting for me here the yeah. adventures how are you what's your name guys aslam aslam, aslam. i'm zubair raja airport representative of the white tower nice to meet you same to you right please, please. shall we go please. let's go shall all right guys we oh, thank you so much thank you thank you so much all right guys we finally made it into karachi i had a little bit of a scare when i came through because they stopped me because of my drone and I've had absolute nightmares with drones because last country I went to they literally took it off me and I didn't manage to get it back but the guys here the security were really really friendly and they just checked in and said yeah no worries look they knew I'm just like another youtuber so there was no security risk if you like um, but yeah really really chuffed to finally make it here um, it's buzzing the airport's buzzing it's not as busy as I expected and not as like hustling bustly but I'm just so glad to finally make it and uh, the, the whole process of getting through checking the passport checking the visas was very very swift all right we've got the guys here they got my bags which is really helpful because this one is a bit too heavy we've got the whip here guys i think it's a white toyota getting us to the ride yes thank you guys all right guys we have finally made it into the taxi now and we're with the driver here What's your name again, brother? Aslam. Aslam, Aslam, okay. And Aslam, how long is the journey to the hotel? I think only 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah? yeah. Okay. Really excited to see all of the all of the nice places in Karachi. It feels so good to be back in the hustle and bustle of a proper busy city and you just kind of feel alive again when you come to these types of places. We've got our brothers there on the bike. How are you doing? just feel alive you know it's, it's 
It's just great to be in these type of places. And there's the Avari Hotel, guys, where I'm staying. Three towers. Well, guys, we have made it to the hotel. Thank you so much, brother. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Brother, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, please you. give uh, something, give like half to the other guy as well. Like, yeah, half, something. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, guys, we've made it to the hotel now and we are about to roll in. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Looks really nice. A royal entrance. Don't have to do the security check. Salam alaikum. How are you? Yeah, okay. How are you, brother? How are you? Good. What's your name? What's your name? Abdul Ghani. Abdul, Abdul Ghani. Abdul Ghani. Nice to meet you. Let me open the door for you. Thank you, sir. Please, thank please you, go thank inside. You, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. Look at this place. Guys, this hotel is seriously royal. I picked it because I wanted to also uh, make a video for you guys to show you the luxury side of Pakistan. So I'll be sure to give you guys a full tour of this hotel and to show you all the facilities and everything it has to offer. So if you guys ever want to visit Karachi in Pakistan, you can also see it for yourself. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys, we're just checking in now. We've got the guys here. I feel really royal so far, really uh, loving the hotel. It's got your marble floors, which I absolutely love. It's got, it's got a bit of a Dubai vibe to it because of the marble flooring, the just clean, everything is just so fresh and brand new. But yeah, loving it so far, first impressions. Just waiting for the guys to check me in. Yes. Oh, thank you. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you. Cheers. All right, so we get welcomed with a, looks like a, I'm gonna go for mango juice. Let's give it a go. Mm. It's like a mix. It's like a mix of orange, mango. It's good. Mm. Sweet. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you. Yes. Cooking up the room. Yeah, I'm going to give you the room. Suite room. I'm giving. I'm giving you the suite room on the eleventh floor. Okay. Is that a good room? Yeah, it's a good room. Oh, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are super friendly and already hooking me up with a suite room on the 11th floor. He's, the way he said it was good, it sounds like it's going to be really nice. So looking forward to checking out. So they've upgraded me to the, is it suite? Yeah, the suite. This is the last suite. Okay, the last suite. Very okay. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're just heading into the room. This is for you. Wow, look at that. That's fantastic. That's for you. That's for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. See you. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys. Super friendly people. Love that. And the way they upgraded me to this room, I'm super, super chuffed because uh, I actually spoke to the general manager before coming here. I was just letting him know that I was going to come before booking. And um, it looks like they hooked me up to this room. It's actually sick. So you've got this amazing marble floor as you walk in. You've got this area here to leave your bags. Like that's just, that's wicked. So basically got like a living room, um, but it's nice so far. What are we just chilling out uh, in the evenings, editing vlogs for you guys. And they've welcomed us with some nuts. Wow, look at that, pistachios. We've got some, this looks like Pakistani sweets, chocolate and cookies. That's because the diet is out the window. And um, wow, they've welcomed me with this beautiful fruit bowl, amazing. Got a TV on this side. We've got a chill out area here to sit down. And uh, here is the bedroom. Here is the bedroom, guys. Lovely size bed. Got a TV here, we've got office workstation, perfect. And also we've got this amazing bathroom. Like the whole, the whole thing is marble, like marble walls, marble floor. Let's have a look at the shower. Nice. Very, very nice. Amazing, guys. I'll do a full tour of the hotel so you guys can actually see what it's like in this place because I really want to showcase uh, some of the luxury things that you can also do when visiting Pakistan because, you know, the perception is that there isn't much of that going on out here. But as you can see, there's so much beautiful uh, properties to see and this is just one of them. So, all right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog, guys. I'm a little bit tired, even though it was a bit of a short flight, but I've been up since the morning 
so I'm gonna get some rest and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next vlog where I'll give you guys my first impressions of what it's like in Karachi in Pakistan but guys if you enjoyed today's vlog please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out